Well, it's only a small job, but it's another job ticked off the list. So I've got a nice new Perspex washboard, which has gone in really well. So, yeah, pleased with that. So we'll move on to the next job. Sharing. Sharing is caring, isn't it, boys and girls? Sharing is caring. So I'm hoping this will be the last time uh, that I'm going to do this. Um, <clears throat> the heat exchanger was leaking onto the starter motor, the starter motor seized. I replaced that yesterday, but I didn't film it, which was stupid, but anyway. Uh, so what we've got is a situation where the heat exchanger is still leaking just on one o-ring. Um, so I've got to take all this off again to try and fix it. So I've got two new o-rings this morning. 11 euros each, these things. It's a uh, stupid design. So I'm going to uh, basically take the alternator off so I can get to the heat exchanger and then we'll give it a go. Okay, well, it's uh, it's in, the o-rings are in and on, and it's all greased up, but I think all I've done is transfer the problem up here to this one, because the o-ring on that was disturbed, I had to pull it out to get the pipe back on, so I suspect I'm going to end up having to work on that one next, but that is easily accessible, so... That's a lot better, so, um, yeah. But hopefully that will stop it dripping onto the starter motor, which is what I'm really after. So now I've got to put the alternator back on, and uh, hopefully that will be the problem solved, finally. Well, here we are, uh, back on the ferry to Corfu. Uh, it's Tuesday the 15th. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, I'm in court with Svetlana over the boat. Not something I wanted to do, but after four months of uh, her sending around, uh, completely ignoring any requests, any offers of negotiation, um, no choice, really. Um, so we shall see. But it's you know, not something that I'm looking forward to, let's, uh, let's just say that. Well, it's Sunday. Uh, supposed to have a video up online today, but my battery is flat on the laptop, so I'm letting it charge. And I thought while I was doing that, I might as well crack on with some stuff. So I'm going to do these ugly little gouges in the sugar scoop and get those sorted next. We'll see how we get on with that. Okay, so I've cleaned all that lot out and sanded it down. I need to get a piece of plywood to fit in there now. And I've also sanded all the way across the bottom. And I've tidied this piece up as well. So I need a piece of ply for that. So I'm gonna to go to the yards over there and do a bit of dumpster diving because I don't need a lot of plywood. And I'm sure somebody's thrown a scrap away somewhere. So, uh, and as it's Sunday, I can't buy any anyway. Well, there's always something useful in there, so looks like about the right thickness for what I need, and there's plenty of it. So I'm going to take that and uh, see what I can do with it. Okay, so the engine's running because the batteries are a little bit depleted. It's a little bit of a dull day today, but I've started again. I've cut out this plywood out to show and I have glued it in with hot glue gun. So uh, now what I'm going to do is clean all this lot off and then put fiberglass over it just to make it nice and solid 
Once you smile the glass in, I'll start filling it, bearing it. And this is the other side. This one, it's, it's bent, so I've had to use three pieces. And again, I've glued it in, and then it'll just fiberglass in, fair flat. So uh, it's not looking too bad, I don't think. Um, we will uh, see what it's like when I'm finished. Um, while I was at it, I've just cleaned this ding here. I've got a little disc of fiberglass on that as well, just to sort that out. It's gradually building up, gradually, a little bit more to do, going to let this dry, get another couple of layers on there, uh, the back is looking a bit scrubby and horrible now, so I need to have a right good go at that, but uh, yeah, and this side again, starting to layer up, um, obviously the paint is getting in the way on this side, so, but that's almost there. Here's a good sand down. And then uh, it should be okay. If I can just build up just on my finger this bit here. Well it's just a bit of a dip. I want to just build that up, get that straight. And then uh, and what I plan to do is put a navy line all the way down the back here using that navy blue epoxy that I had for the bootstrap I think that will look a lot better job done nice and sturdy and the rails are tight again so next job I put a marker there up to the end of the board here is five meters so I need to lay out a new chain now that I've just bought and we can mark it up so the chains laid out it doesn't have to be absolutely exact but it's close enough so 80 meters of chain so we're gonna have Red, yellow, green, blue, white, red and yellow, blue and green. I think something like that anyway. We'll just uh, see how we go. Okay, so red, yellow, green, blue, red and white, yellow and white, green and white. And when it separates out, it should have red, white, red, yellow, white, yellow, and green, white green so that should be good i think uh, leave it to dry and get another coat on and then leave it to dry overnight and hopefully we should be good to go morning everybody well uh, demetrius has been to take a look at my um, rigging for me and uh, the rigging itself is fine there's a the gooseneck is worn, so it's getting a replacement gooseneck for me. But when this rigging was fitted, the port side stanchions and the starboard side stanchions are different. They are, starboard is longer by 
seven and a half centimeters on this one and 10 centimeters on this one and you can see that on the turnbuckles the turnbuckles are virtually fully tensioned so he's gonna have to take these off and shorten these and, uh, and redo them which he's going to do uh, sometime over the next couple of days um, all of the sheets and halyards need replacing um, while we're doing it this pulley here needs replacing as well because it's far too small it's jamming um, and he's going to go up the mast and just find out why the main cell isn't um, coming up properly so those are all all jobs that are happening but uh, the biggest issue we've got as I pointed out a few weeks back is this furling mechanism at the front now what he's telling me is that not only is it mounted too low so we need to actually raise it but also it's mounted incorrectly so there is there's movement this way but there's no movement this way uh, which is quite dangerous because it can actually snap something so he's um, yeah going to work on that as well but he's got the manual for this so he's, uh, he's quite happy with that uh, meantime i've got all of my chain over there to fit um, i would like to crack on with this chain locker um, but we are well they're wanting us to move the boat because uh, we've got other people coming so um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that yet, but I'm going to get rid of all of this rusty old chain and fit my new chain, uh, and, uh, and then we'll see what we can do. Um, but I've got all the well, I've got all the wood. I need to get the epoxy and the fiberglass um, to uh, to finish this job off. So, yeah, lots and lots to do. Lots and lots to do. In the meantime. These are going to go to the laundry um, because, um, yeah, the cats were using the front cabin as a toilet, so I've had to I have to keep that closed so they can't get in there. Uh, we'll see where we go. The dinghy, I've had that out. I've tried to sort the leak in the floor. Hopefully, I've done it this time, um, so that's ready to go back in the water. And I'll put it back in the water and just see how it gets on over the next couple of hours or so. Hopefully I've resolved the issues. So that'll be good. So Lucy's gone missing. She's been gone for a couple of days now. Uh, but the quayside that we're on, the, all the charter boats from Sail Ionian are all being um, winterized and put to bed. Um, so they've given me permission to come to the yard to have a look any of the boats that have already come out of the water so uh, I've got to get a ladder and I've got to start looking around boats thankfully all the Sailonian boats are pretty well marked so yeah it's a long shot but I'm hoping well I've checked all the boats and she's not on any of them so uh, I don't know what to do now Looks as though she's lost for good. Uh, I'll do another final check around the uh, streets near the boat and see what's what. But uh, yeah, not happy. <laughs>